You're listening to a Saturday Night Gaming Podcast, Quad City, run by the Grand Master of Ceremonies, Scott Hibbard. Hope you enjoy. So, oh god, I hope you don't have the hell now. Goldcrest Hospital. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, our heroes in Goldcrest Hospital. The doors swing open. Sawed off shotgun, some chains. Yes. Two by four with a railroad nail through it. Uh, baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire. <gasps> How many of these mother are there? Oh, not all of them have ever done that. <laughs> <laughs> so, not they, all of them have kids. As they walk in and they go, ladies and gentlemen, could I have your attention, please? As he motions towards medical staff, the exit. It is here. Please exit the building. And then they start walking towards the patients. As they do, you know, they start walking into medical professional account. The students are like, oh, who is this? And they go, well, let us introduce ourselves. We are the hooligans. And we are taking your patients under our care. Oh, see, they got bad PR. Uh, they should really go with a better name. <laughs> you see the, the right. medical students they all kind of look at the weapons and they're like mm-hmm. they just start kind of I'm not walking. even a doctor yet like, I'm out of here man <laughs> they're like walking kind of slowly past them and then as they kind of get closer to the door they bolt out the door it seems Hippocratic some... Oath happens after you graduate it seems that they have some shots to administer <laughs> Did I leave the centrifuge on? <laughs> so, one of the hooligans, by the way, he doesn't have any other weapons or whatnot. He just has a knife. Oh. And he's bald. And you can tell he has some scars. As he just walks over to you, Newton, and he just kind of mm-hmm. looks at you, just kind of gets in your face, and he says, I've heard a lot about you. As he takes his knife, and you see him just kind of lick his knife. Oh, is that his poison knife? <laughs> Have you had your tetanus shot yet? <laughs> he just kind of smiles at you. <laughs> then he kind of rolls up his sleeve here, and you see he has like all these different scars from his knife. <laughs> he goes, I'm looking to add another one. As he takes a knife and just kind of grazes your cheek with it. What are you going to give me a shave? I mean, what's going on here? <laughs> and he says, You are very lucky today. Today, the boss wants you alive. But he didn't say what condition you had to arrive in. <laughs> then he kind of laughs at him maniacally. He goes, boys, let's load them up. What do y'all do? Kill them all. Well, there's nothing I can do. See, they should have led with, we work with (laughs) y'all. I'm Jim from work. (laughs) And at this point, there's, yeah, there's like over 20 of them. (laughs) Because there's three canes. I have no powers. Uh, There's nothing I can do. Uh Um. I mean, you are oh, like yeah. Dolph Lundgren size, right? But there are yeah. like seven of these guys. More. Twenty. Oh, 15, there's three 20. units worth. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> there's twenty, and I'm not hit man. So yeah. this is. <laughs> <laughs> you so being smart. I'll give you that. I am too. My guy knows how to read a situation. And be like, yeah, this is. Didn't problem. even have to roll for that. Mm-hmm. Nope. <laughs> So, as the quote-unquote leader of this group, 
I see he just already walks outside, so he just expects the guys, you know, to follow his command. And he just waits for you. Solaris, what do you do? It is daytime. It's Probably. nighttime still. Oh, is it nighttime still? Nighttime, yeah. Other than Luna mode. Yeah. It's like late, late night. Just drown. <laughs> I just smell that. I am only halfway injured, too, so, or mostly still. Pretty. Don't you hear that little voice inside your head anymore, Newton? No. Kill them all. There is no voice no. right now. Uh, I fixed I'm it. I'm telling you to kill them all. You're the it's, little voice from from uh, the little black kid that says, "Yo, don't do this to me anymore. Kill them all." <laughs> it's not the voice inside your head; it's the voice inside your ear. He's still yeah. in your ear, bud. <laughs> Kill them all, dude. Yo, dude. Yo, it's Damon. Yo, kill them all. <laughs> For what they did to me, cause of you. <laughs> I can't. Why not? I have no powers. Take beer with me. I give them back to you. <laughs> so <laughs> there's what you do. I Here, listen, listen. Thing. Look into my eyes. Just imagine I'm right for you. There's your powers. It's all in your head, man. And your genome. It's, it's all in your genome. to use elemental armor. So I need to roll for this. Oh, uh, let me see. Oh, Don't you remember in that movie he wasn't dead? He was only very nearly dead? That's you. No, You're it's not passive. dead. You're only very nearly dead. So get those powers so up. So you, you only have, have it active. If only oh. somebody had an inhaler. <laughs> Where's all the inhalers? Oh, they're in my pocket. If only they were here. <laughs> they're under attack in the towers that you're supposed to be. At. Oh, wait. I'm on the way. <laughs> That's what you told me. OTW, man. Three hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> Just sit tight. We're all dead now. Because we're waiting for you. Quick climb into the air vents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That worked in uh, Die Hard. So, the hooligans as they come and they uh, basically grab you and um, yeah. they start escorting you out. Same with you, Tom. You've chosen to work with our new allies, too? I'm not being work. I'm not working with them. I have no choice, really, because we're outnumbered. It's like 20 of them. I just. I see it now. Y'all all get outside. You're acting like prisoners. I'm like, hey! They talked y'all into coming too! What the hell are you talking about? That's assuming that we're still there after I exploded the world. <laughs> <laughs> You're just watering the tree. <laughs> so... Um, as you're being escorted out. They go to try to find a ride and all they find is like a bed that had like a hole sunk into it. He <laughs> 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 just like teleported out. One unit goes and handles him specifically. Uh, <laughs> They're still looking for him. <laughs> uh, the other two units escort you to uh, Solaris and Newton. Now, Newton. You hear a tiny little voice as it appears on your shoulder. <laughs> mm -hmm. You look over and like, what is that? And it looks like 
uh, a little creature, like a little, uh, like a very tiny miniature, like goblin. <laughs> Image. Like, like you've seen in like fantasy stories and such. Oh, great. No, I am crazy. It just. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, just the painkillers. <laughs> and it says, hey, hey. As he just kind of. Hey, into your ear. Listen! <laughs> listen, hey. hey! Listen, listen! It's dangerous to go alone. Yes. <laughs> Take me. Oh, this isn't going to go well. What? You look down. You look like you need a fix. <laughs> What's wrong, buddy? Never mind, I don't really care. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> he says, Ah, this looks like fun. <laughs> he goes, How would you like to do crazy things right now? Crazy things right now. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Crazy, crazy. Lots of crazy. Lots of crazy. Mischief. Lots of mischief. It could be fun. You want to get nuts? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he goes, Oh, come on! We will bring so many bowls of popcorn. I don't understand. This is the first time my mind has been quiet for a while. What the hell are you? He says, oh, I'm just your friendly neighborhood goblin. As he sits on your shoulder, kind of crosses his leg, just here, enjoying myself. There is so much to do here. I can't believe you have this whole place to yourself. You know how much chaos we could create? Hmm. Hmm. Can you hear my powers back or not? <laughs> hmm. He goes, I could. That's horrible. Or I could do something more. <laughs> As he says, We could roll the dice. You may get your powers back. You may not. You may get somebody else's powers. That has happened before. <laughs> Very small chance of that. Oh no. You get a respect. <laughs> <laughs> you might turn into a golden statue. That also has happened before. There's a variety of things that could happen. You see, I can't actually control this. Oh no. You can roll a random it's slime <laughs> figure. But it's going to be so much fun, at least for me, I get to watch. <laughs> hey, what's he doing over there? No, 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 don't touch the swords. What are you doing? Don't touch the... Can you believe this guy? Don't cross the streams! <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at him. He's over there by... You see what he's doing by the tree? What is this guy doing? In slow motion, you're seeing... He... It's, uh, is he with you? <laughs> Yes. I'm gonna need you to tell him to stop. What will that do if he? Wait, he has a sword. Why the hell he not use that? Building. <laughs> I wasn't in the building. He had left the building. Yeah, you were. He's at the. He's on the administrative building. I'm talking. No, I'm talking about before. Oh, I didn't have the sword in there. Sword well, out. I did have the sword out. I yeah. did. You just, you I just, just didn't use it because I was busy healing you. <laughs> he goes, ah, oh, these people. See, this is a problem with y'all. You get these powerful objects like what he has, and then you sit there and you just touch things with it. What is wrong with you people? You ever heard of, you know, with great power comes great chaos? <laughs> <laughs> but only if you apply more mm, money. No, I haven't. Particularly heard that. How about add more mana? Add more mana. 
That seems slightly familiar. <laughs> hmm. Drink more water. As he yells again, What are you doing? Don't go near the tree. Mm. I'm assuming I can't hear it. No. You can't. I assume I'm in uh, like a frozen time bubble or a frozen something or other right now. You are walking with the hooligans. Nobody else seems to notice this thing. Okay. Slow think I'm talking to myself. Slow motion yeah. of me oh, going good. like this. He's, I believe he's, he's offering you an like looking around, Kind of like who else is looking. And, and <laughs> the goblin goes, don't worry. It's a perception filter. I can control who sees me and who doesn't. Most of the time, I can do that. Sometimes people do see me. I don't want to. That's a different story. They're usually special people. Hey, you're very special. So I am crazy. No, he called you special. It's a relative term. It's a positive connotation. I boop his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see if he's real. Just do yeah, you do. And he's like, what is wrong with you? I, I'm not crazy. Yeah, that was not a great idea. Because as you do that, you, like, you feel a surge of energy pulse through you when you did that. <gasps> yes, let's not do that again. Okay. Oh, no. And for just a split moment, like you felt your powers reawaken. So you can reawaken my powers. It's a possibility. It could... It Let's could amplify them to where you could just completely flip this entire place upside down, which I'll be okay with. But I don't know if you would be, or if they would be. At this point, it's the only option we have. We've been compromised. He says, compromise is not one of my words. <laughs> <laughs> I never compromise. <laughs> <laughs> but he goes, a deal is a deal. Let's shake on it. With spit. <laughs> I hand him my finger to shake. <laughs> That's when he's a little guy. And he goes, ha, just kidding. And he slaps you on the back. <laughs> and as he does, you see, uh, like, feel this energy is like starting coursing through you. And he goes, let's roll the dice. Uh-oh. Eight. Plus my energy? Yes. Mm-hmm. As it does, as he slaps your back, you feel like uh, energy start pulsing through you. You know, mm-hmm. you feel uh, like as if something within you has been just dormant, and then all of a sudden, like there's a awakening. Like you start feeling uh, like all the, the gravity around you. Like you start feeling it like you did once again, but it's not all at once. It's like a slow, like building up. It's like you know turning the lights on in the room and he's had a room like lights up like slowly starts lighting up in slow mo that's what it feels like for you as you start feeling all this energy just kind of surge back into you and then he goes look at that it worked this is going to be so much fun I'm going to be so glad to see no don't do that to the tree and he vanishes just like that because <laughs> he doesn't want to be <laughs> I believe he's offering you an interruptible action. <laughs> so, as you feel all that energy start pulsating back within you, uh, you, uh, Hydro, touch the tree oh, no, with it the wasn't sword. Interruptible. Okay. I touch the tree with the sword. As you do that, it, um, I actually need you and Night Owl to roll to act under fire. I'm going to... I am going to use part of my plan. Because if I die, yes. that doesn't go with me. I am crucial to this plan. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm to going to create a shield. <laughs> Actually, good thing I did that. So that would have been six, but it's now into a seven or nine. All right. Yeah, I'm going to... Create my armor. Uh, 
You did roll for your armor? Yeah. Okay. Intelligence. So, nine. So, it lasts a moment. Oh, yes. That armor. I gained plus two armor. Yes. On top of my three armor. Or on top of my one. So you touch uh, the sword, and as you touch the sword to the tree, uh-huh. instinctively you summon the mystical armor. Yeah. And it lasts just long enough as the um, energy, um, as they interact with each other, and then a pulse of energy just <laughs> which sends you reeling back from the tree onto the ground. Sh- you know, your armor basically shatters in the process. Yeah. As you land prone on the ground. You wet yourself. <laughs> You got a 7 through 9, sir. Yes. Uh, the armor, hard bargain damage, looked like a frosted metal whenever it showed up. And then it just kind of shattered away. All right, so for you, um, it also the, the pulse kind of emanates out from the tree mm-hmm. and sends you backwards. And as it does, you, you hit the ground hard. And for a brief moment, you can go ahead and roll now. To shake off. Shake it off. Shake See if the, the, the connection is disrupted. So my, my iPod starts playing. Yeah. I, I will actually play that song if you need it. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I'm sure she wouldn't mind the extra publicity from, from a true fan. So we're doing this off of intelligence because she's there, or am I doing it off of durability? Uh, this is off of durability. Okay. Ooh. Eight. All right. You shake off the condition, but suffer one harm from the stress. Was I still tracking with the harm I had from last time? Yes. I was, so. Yeah, yeah, had a chance to recover. Wait, one harm from the stress, bypassing armor? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is internal bypassing armor. Oh, my head. Who the hell? Ah! As you're laying on the ground. I'll look around. Guys, get the hell out of here! Return to the base! Where's the chick? The redhead! Oh! Wait, what redhead? The, column? the redhead! Yes. I'm in, I think you're in the same area as me right now, uh, right? Yeah, I was right next to the tree. They're, you guys are at the art center now. <laughs> We're in the art center now. Yeah, you guys are passing by the art center. <laughs> As you guys are basically being escorted uh, to Night Owl, because that was the mission was to grab and retrieve. And so they're bringing you back to him. When that energy pulse went off, when the energy pulse went off, by the way, the little goblin disappeared. Mm. Can I read the situation um, to know how much, or would I be, uh, like, how much would he be aware of? of oh, this? yeah, he's fully aware. Just couldn't control myself. Exactly. You, you basically just had a back seat, you know, sitting there watching like you're watching a film. Hey, guys. Popping popcorn, eating it. Good news. Night Owl's on our side still. Can I read the situation and do a scan of them? Yeah. As you pick yourself up, yeah. Yes. Uh, new time. I am going to use gravity manipulation to do something bad. <laughs> Particularly the guy that ate the scan. So you get one question. Is anybody's mutant power is anybody's enhancements? I'm specifically scanning them yes. to see if their enhancements are like active, if they're healthy enhancements. Yes, you got what? Eleven. Eleven. What were you doing? Oh, about to do something heinous with gravity manipulation. <laughs> oh, fun. <laughs> so, particularly uh, the guy with the knife. You do you you scan, and uh, you you're scanning everything, um, and everybody, everything appears to be normal, except for 
Utahns. Utahns. Spike. Who all of a sudden you see spikes. <laughs> so the guy with the knife, he's holding it still, right? Okay. Yes. We'll redirect the gravity of the knife to uh, slice them in the throat. <laughs> hey, that knife looks like it's falling! <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> so, as he stops and he looks at Night Owl... He gets super heavy and then it gets really light. And uh, Night Owl, like, as you, you know, kind of stand back up, because the pulse went off and knocked you and Hydra down. So oh, they wait. stop. I get to do two things. Uh, oh, and then you said... Yes, what are you, you doing? Do. Get back to base. Yeah. Yes. And they're like... Uh, He's like, what? Okay. Has his knife and he trying. kind of has it pointed towards you and he says... Is Luna with me? Yes. yes. Okay, I want to make... Okay. <laughs> Gonna use careful on that. <laughs> As he conducts the music, look at him, look at him closely. Um, let's see... Fly, right? No. I, I mean, I did float <laughs> before. Specifically. <laughs> Am I close to her? <laughs> no, you're within immediate. Yes. Immediate? So. You two are basically right next to each other, being. Yep. I grab her to use gravity defiance to move in any direction to go onto the roof. Wee! <laughs> the roof of the art center. Mm hmm. Alright, so. Are right, both of you going to the roof? Yes. Okay. Alright. That was one of them. And then the other choice was. Gravity redirection of the knife to. Yes. <laughs> Yes, and Night Owl, you see this as uh, his energy level spike. Mm. Also, you see that the bald guy who is leading them, you know, taking your orders, as he kind of points the knife at you, and then all of a sudden, like... False. <laughs> <laughs> at the he exact same right. time as they throat. jump to the roof. And then, yeah. as he tries to utter anything, but he it all fails as he just gurgles and falls to the ground. By the way, new time. Yes. You, in your mind, that door is still open. Good. As you hear growling coming from the thing. Mm -hmm. And these yellow eyes appear. As you hear a voice that says, We have unfinished business to attend to. Oh, can it. Not right now. <laughs> All right. Roll plus intelligence to shut the door. Mentally, so to speak. Can't. Oh, good. Twelve. My stroke couldn't get the foot in the door. <laughs> as you hear him, as he responds, he says, I will not be contained. <laughs> he goes and kicks the door. Turn it down. And then, of course, you just hear the the door as it shakes and rattles and rolls. And you take a deep breath. <sighs> it's good that you've got control while you're holding the now, ally. In the as, game. Game, as they've realized at this point, something has gone wrong. <laughs> they see you and Solaris float. All of a sudden, they're like, what? You guys, power's back. They see him standing with the elemental dude that they've never seen before. <laughs> um, who just made an explosion from a tree? <laughs> Full assessment. I know that he just peaked. His powers are back on. They peaked. He just sliced a dude's throat right in front of me. Yep. 
and he's like jumping around. Um, yeah, him and Solaris have levitated up to the building. I'm not a big fan of like the murder to death thing. There's about how many of these guys here? Uh, there are about 14. Gotcha. I'm going to roll to persuade. I want to roll to persuade them to return to home base. I'm going to try and basically convince them that I'm still rocking and rolling, but that they need to get back because the situation has gone foobar. And we need to return with enhanced reinforcements. All right, go ahead and roll persuade. Can I aid? How would you aid? Well, obviously, I'm convinced that we're all working together now. <laughs> so, I would help you to convince them that we need to get back to base. Like after I've spoken, he would help me. Yeah, yeah. but they don't—they don't really know you though. So, I don't, that's what I'm trying to figure. It's like, how would you like? What pull do you have with them? Ah, uh, with them. Yeah, because he's persuading them. Yeah. Yeah. I've got more pull with them. So I'll try to help convince them <laughs> that we all need to go back to the base together. Alright, here we go. That's off the head. That's a nine. I it would have been 10 plus a few times. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you, you're basically trying to persuade them to regroup. You yeah, go back. I mean, so with a 7 9. Yep. Are you doing comms to the other group too? Yeah, so they just need to ask me. So, they're, they're looking they're looking at you, they're looking at him, and they're looking at their numbers. <laughs> and they go, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can handle them. It's all of us versus one of him. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to pull up drone footage and project it off of my gauntlet. <laughs> of oh, no. him conducting the music that lifted the bodies and smashed them into smithereens <laughs> because there was about 14 of them. Pelted bodies with bodies. And I said, look, I am doing this for your own good. We need to return with enhanced. You're not enough. They were not enough. And they had an enhanced lieutenant with them. And they look at your footage and they look horrified about what they're seeing. And they look back over at him. I'm looking over his shoulder seeing the footage for the first time and going, oh, it all makes sense now. Oh. No wonder Damon's been hooked on drugs for the past few days. <laughs> no. Your discretion advised. No, <laughs> and you do, discretion. you actually see Damon on the ground <laughs> screaming and crying, his blood spattering on him, and he's going, why? Right. So they look at you. They go, um, "Yes, this is a, this, yes, yes, yes." And they look at the body on the ground that has a knife in his throat. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and they just take off and they run to the motorcycles. And you hear just the engines rev up, <laughs> and they just start taking off. All right, everybody, calm down. By calm down, I mean you up there. It's me. I'm a full awareness. Sorry I shot you. It's okay, guys. I even questioned him. I'm sure he's good. No, you're an idiot. I was completely under their control at the time that you asked me those questions. <laughs> well, but I appreciate it. I thought you break it, though. Next time, let's not tap magical items with each other. Is that what the... I'm assuming. What else is your sword made out of? Just ice and water and other pieces of me? 
What else are you made of besides ice and water? I mean, life force? Your soul. You're telling me that it's made out of your soul. A little bit. And yeah. a little bit of the energy of the ethereal flow of energy in other realms. Recorded. <laughs> <laughs> That's all inside my helmet. You don't know that. I'm going to have to name my backup program. Look, man. <laughs> sorry I shot you. When he almost blew up the world here a second ago, it woke me up. Um, since... I think we're all back to being in sync now. Since Night Owl is right next to me, while he's busy talking, I'm going to heal him with a little bit of uh, effervescence. <laughs> it was the pollens that were hurting me. Oh, yeah! On a 10 plus, mm -hmm. you heal two harm, I take two harm. I feel great! Uh, that's... I don't know about you, but that off of feel great. Energy. <sighs> so... You just swapped. Yeah, you're good. I feel great. Uh, back at the top of my game. <laughs> Got my own mind. I'm not injured again. And whenever I get the chance, I'm going to try to heal that. You can go ahead. Okay. Seven to try and fast heal. Mm -hmm. What'd you get? Which I heal one harm, but you get to offer me a worse outcome. <laughs> oh, but. Leveled up. Leveled up. Erase them all. Accept new abilities. Nice. So you can learn from your experience, eh? Suddenly, I have a healing factor. I actually well, have it. This is what happens, actually. As you heal, uh -huh. by the way, you heal yourself. Uh, you take on his wounds, yeah. um, and then you focus. And as you do, you actually start feeling the tree reach out to you, so to speak. Oh, no, the Not tree's physically. trying to suck up the water. <laughs> no! <laughs> and so... You, you restore, you know, part of the harm that you took uh, uh -huh. from Night Owl, uh, but then all of a sudden it seems like you're drawn in, and then, uh, like, when you blink, you're in a different place. So y'all are talking, and then all of a sudden you're like, ooh, I feel better. Weird. <laughs> Actually, Hydro himself is still there, but oh. he is motionless. Oh, me. It seems very normal. He looks like the same bluish thing. You said I did heal some of the harm? Oh, yes. You, you did heal that one harm. Okay. Um, but your mind is run away. Yes. And so you are basically out of action right now. Nice. <sighs> yep, he seems normal. He's <laughs> wet. <laughs> Wet dude, technology dude, we don't really mix. It's like we're in the water. Um, I probably just look like I'm concentrating on healing. <laughs> because that's what I was doing when I disappeared. I'd probably call Jojo to me and just have him go in like stationary mode on my back. Like a pack that I can carry. Stop yeah, letting he's those engineering students sleep study. Sleep mode for healing, nano healing. He's medicine. essentially initiated the uh, uh, repair protocol. Yeah. So he's self repairing at the moment. Stop letting those engineering students poke at you. Has anyone seen that crazy kid from uh, from the city? The one with the, the bandana around his face? Upstairs in the hospital. Oh, he's he was with a someone that he had one of his contacts. A drug dealer. Hmm. 
getting a lot of those lately. That's my assumption. Context. All right. Well, let's rock and roll. Is do we have a vehicle? Because my wings are kind of tired right now. Um, I think we drove in with a. Uh, oh, that's right. You have a license. Uh, Lincoln. Yes. Well, let's all pile into the the commissioned government paid for <laughs> Lincoln, and uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to like pull some of the like bags of, <laughs> of food and garbage and like just leave them <laughs> on Gold Crest's like concrete just like <laughs> there's probably actually a trash it's, in it's right next to me oh it's right next to me yeah I just don't care <laughs> <laughs> I pick up the garbage <laughs> oh man alright fine we'll all work together we take a moment to like throw the garbage in the garbage clean out the car yeah and then you'll notice that I'm still standing next to the tree. No, he's still wet. Um, come on, Hydro, get in the car. Hydro. Go and roll and shake it off. Is that durability still? Yep, durability. I was just making nice. sure it gets on my mind. Uh, I get to erase all four of those. I was very close on several stats. Uh, that was a 13. You successfully snap out of it. <sighs> Whoa. Like, it, you, you had a hard time processing what you saw because it felt like you were on a trip through the cosmos. Guys, I felt like I was connected to something way bigger than myself. Like a body of water? Like life. I mean, you kind of just told me you made a sword out of your life essence. Yeah, but now I'm connected to all of it. I'm just letting you know. I take everything you say with like a grain of salt. Whoa. Because you're kind of trippy don't, already. Don't use salt around me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Changes my alkalinity, man. It's a salt. <laughs> That is a salt. <laughs> Just get get in the car. We gotta go save Damon, yo. What about um, electrolytes? Oh, don't you want to hydrate? I, I'm gonna you put need the sword hydrate. back in to myself. So yes. what we see is him stabbing himself. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> and it's weird because as a sword goes through, like into him, like it doesn't go throughout the other side. Like you just. And all of this is just rippling. And you don't even see it, like... It doesn't even seem to ripple. Yeah, nothing. It, it just, just fades into... Just... Ah, <laughs> uh, not even... I've got a scans that I've got to go over for that. I, I head have to the car. seen things. <laughs> <laughs> and then I head to the car. I've got things I need to invent. Me too. Yep. Oh, you're an inventor now. Get in the car! Inventions are magical. <laughs> All right, off we go. Drive to Sterling Heights. To drive. I promptly forgot about the person I was investigating. Who had stuff that she needed to look up in the library. <laughs> you forgot about it for now. You are very interested. I really am, but I really didn't want to bring extra attention to it right now. Because <laughs> she might actually know what happened. <laughs> what I just connected to. You're like, I think I've done enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've helped enough right now. She did say she didn't want my help. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, you go and you drive south to Star Valley. It's always really pretty when we get here. Wait. It's a beautiful part of town. Especially nightlife. Even the people are prettier. God. We're going to that building? Yeah, yeah the really big one. You drive up to Sterling Heights. It's the like the figures were. fourth most tall, tallest building in, in all. 
the pot city. I hope the elevator's working. Like whoever owns this is probably wealthy. Well, I can't believe that Force has enough money to rent a room here. Well, she's she's a teacher and a superhero. Obviously, that wait, I know what I pay her, <laughs> and and I know what the city school system pays her. Someone's not adding. And up. she's your friend, um, employee. <laughs> As you pull up and arrive, it's a disaster, unfortunately. The uh, ground floor, where essentially the uh, the security is, and uh, also the front office, um, all the windows have been completely shattered. Oh my God! What did Damon do? The is when we get inside. Can I check the doorman? Yes. Is he alive? What doorman? Nope, negative. I'm gonna try and heal him. He's gone. Oh, he's not even there. No, no, no. He's what there, but he is. What door, man? Yeah. I need my soul sword back. <laughs> <laughs> what you find, which is interesting, is that he essentially looks like he just bled out from his ears, from his eyes. All the orifices? Yeah. Oh man, that's not good. That looks I, like radiation. I don't know what it is, but it's not good. I, I've seen something like this before. That looks like radiation damage. Now you see no presence of the hooligans here. Their bikes are not here, nothing like that. You do know a unit was sent here. And the elevator looks like it's not operable. Uh, it looks like the place isn't locked down, yes. I want to roll read the situation just to see mm -hmm. if I can do any scans. You know, hmm? you know Force? Have I've you never, seen a building look like this? I've never seen That's a building. Ten. Oh. She's usually coming So, three questions. Um, initial scan, am I noticing any kind of enhanced energy? Uh, you no, do pick did, it up, yes. um, so there's a trail like of enhanced energy. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, right here. Yes. Now the rest of the building you, you can't scan because it's being blocked. Basically, I have it. You know, but from what you can tell in here, yes, you are detecting presence of enhanced. And can I tell what the most immediate route to those two would be? Since I have their cell phones, would I be able to track them in the building? Mm -hmm. Can I tell what their most immediate route is to them? Uh, well, yes. You have to get through a lockdown somehow, though. But they are on the 13th floor. If only we had a hacker. I know a way. All right. I know the way. Um, <laughs> or you can do a much oh, easier wait. way. I can communicate with them. I'll get to that. Either of you. Do, but you said that there, I know that there was a unit that was sent here. Yes. Do I see any trace of them? Uh, you see skid marks on the ground where they pulled up on their bikes and burned rubber and took off. Some weird stuff's going on. Damon, yo, yeah. come in. I need you to hack into the building and turn off the lockdown. We're here. I told you we were on the way. What did I thought? So I look at force and I say, are we clear? Is everybody gone? Because nine hours here. Uh, check the cameras, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you check the system. And yeah, um, the, the hooligans are here. Have, are they left? Okay. And you see me they, in the... As the lockdown happened, um, you see their leader, he was essentially looking for a way to uh, get in. Um, but then it appears that he took a phone call. And then after that phone call, he rounded everybody up and they left. You see me in the doorman station <laughs> touching the doorman to check and see if he's dead, even though 
Okay, so he's unlocked everything. Let's go down and talk to the night owl. That's fine. Okay, so we come down to the lobby and meet you. Do you end the lockdown? Yeah. Cool. And that's what you guys see. It also like the lockdown begins to lift. And you hear like all this mechanical. <laughs> all the metal sheets covering the plate windows. Mm -hmm. Nice so, place. Yeah. Good point. It's a pretty fancy digs for us. I just live here. I mean, this has got better security systems than, than we do. And they're all working. <laughs> just live here. No, they are. Noted. Ask him. He saw that I lived here. With a dead doorman? <laughs> well, no. Probably also. Which is unfortunate. Nice clothes, man. I hit the gap on the way over, man. It's all in there. Just Great. before they closed. They wanted to close, and I told them no, I had to get in more clothes. I need more clothes before you close. Yeah. Yeah, so that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Um, did y'all see. Who did this to the doorman? Shh. There was security video. Tell her the story. Tell him the story. What happened? Yeah, we can check the security. Can we just watch the security video? Yeah, absolutely. Is is it so, okay? Everybody, sit down. Does anybody have popcorn? <laughs> is it still nighttime or daytime? What is it? Can we just hand you a bag of popcorn? <laughs> I'm fine. And like no, but like you can just like heat it. Ah. And like pop it. Um. I think that we sh you should have several cargo pouches <laughs> that are just filled with popcorn packs. <gasps> Alright, so you see this biker basically pull up in the security bin. And uh, he looks like this rocker basically is what he's like dressed as, you know. This biker who's basically a rock star. He looks pretty awesome. Yeah, right? With his Until long he starts doing what 80's he's hair. About to do. Until he starts doing what he's about to do to the doorman. He looks really awesome. He does. <laughs> and then, of course you see as a security footage plays back and then it goes back and does the whole, I guess he calls, you know, or talks to the doorman or forces his way in more like it. You know, shatters a glass as he just yells. <laughs> the glass shatters. The doorman kind of like is stunned as he hits the ground. He goes on the other side of the counter, grabs the doorman, picks him up, you know, and he says, all right, where's Force? And then he, he stumbles, but then he gives him the number. He's like, we'll check. So then he calls. Uh -huh. And then that's the whole conversation with Force. And she, you know, she's just kind of playing off as she's not there, this isn't her, you know? He's like, well, too bad for you. As you see him, as he brings uh, the doorman's face directly to him, like face to face, and then he just lets out this scream, and then you just see like the face of the doorman as he just like blood just start pouring out from his ears and his eyes, and then he just goes lifeless as he drops him down to the ground. Oh, man. Wow. Damn. Then the security, the building goes security lockdown, and so he's sitting there, and you know uh, he's. Uh, doing some shrieking, just kind of testing. Testing you know? the resonance of the steel. Right. <laughs> and then it looks like he does it, and then you see in the camera, like, he has, like, an idea. And he gets ready, and he starts taking a deep breath, but then he gets a phone call. <laughs> so he stops, takes the phone call, and as soon as he's done with the phone call, he rounds everybody up, and they head out. Huh. So, how did they get into your room up? That quickly, though. No. They, they were in the... The lobby. lobby. Somebody rang her doorbell as we were leaving into the elevator. Oh. Yes. Yeah, those, there were hooligans. It wasn't him. It was he sent a couple up to the okay. elevator. Can... Would we be able to augment... Are those hooligans trapped inside there? 
trapped in the hallway outside. So you said there were some hooligans on her fl what floor? Where's your apartment? Oh, all the way up. 267th floor. 167th floor. No. 37. You said 36 or 37. Yeah. So you're telling me you live in the penthouse apartment? Just sure, if you clubs. want to call it that. Is it the top of the building? That's that is what that's called. Yeah. Do you have gargoyles? No. You should. First of all, you should. <laughs> that's a shame that you don't. Um. Okay. New time. You ready to question some people? You want to do bad cop, bad cop again? Sure. All right. Elevator upstairs. See if we can find these. Uh, the left behind. <laughs> Don't kill them. Yeah. I won't kill them. They might wish they were dead, but I won't kill them. All right. Killing them's too kind. You take the elevator, do you two do? Take it all the way up? I... I think I'm going to stay down here. And... Are either of y'all hurt? No. Okay, cool. Then I'm going to try and heal you if you're staying down here. If you're going up, I'll try and heal you on the way up. Um, I'll go up. Okay. Oh, yeah. Then I'm going to try and heal her real quick. Okay, go for it. Nice. So that is uh, nine to heal her. So, I heal one. Heal one, take, take one. one. Yeah. Yeah. Heal one of yours, and I take one. Say so one of your restored. You Thank you. Took right back. Oh. And then eventually I'm going to try and fast heal. Yeah. Yeah. So, as you're Once healing her and taking her wounds, you Once know. we pass that yeah, water fountain, I'll try to heal or, myself. More or less, actually, you're just kind of part of you is. Yeah. I'm splashing her with effervescence. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Newton and Night Owl, as you uh, get into the elevator and take it all the way up to the top floor. Mm -hmm. Ding! Elevator opens, and you find two surprise to hooligans. She said that we were. Yeah. Well, well. They're going up right now, so are you healing, or...? I thought we were riding in the elevator while I tried to heal her. Well, while you're busy healing in the elevator, then... Okay. We rush out! Yeah, yeah while you're doing mm -hmm. that, you right. basically rush out real quick. Before you start, I'm going to put focus fire on... A designated target, so I'm just going to pick the bigger of the two. Whoever okay. looks like the scariest one, and that's going to give a plus one on, well, potentially put a plus one ongoing for any attacks made against them. Alright. So, roll. Yeah, let's roll and see what happens. So, on a seven to nine. You or your allies receive a plus one forward on the next move taken against the target. Okay. Nice. Nice. It remains in effect as long as the attacks are focused on the selected target. So I'm going to look at no time and be like, damn. The big one. <laughs> Grab the manipulation. <laughs> First of all, I was like, rock roll. And then I remembered, oh yeah, plus two. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then plus one forward as well. Oh yeah, plus one. So it's six plus three, nine. Mm -hmm. All right. So what do you get to do with seven through nine? I get to pick one. Ah, yes. Which you one are you going to pick? in there? I just have to 
trust me at this point. I'm scared. Okay. Um. This. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Want to focus on the cuticles of all of his uh, fingernails? Oh no. Uh huh. And increase the weight, causing them to slowly separate from. Ah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Stay in the elevator. <laughs> All right. So as you do that, you, you hear him start uh, screaming in pain. <gasps> what are you doing? And then one next to him is mortified. I just look at him. Answers. Now. I want to roll... Since I'm already basically assisting him with the plus one, I want to roll intimidation assistance with him uh, to get the answers from them. Are you persuading or intimidating? Well, at this point, he's intimidating and he's questioning them. I just want to roll the assistance um, to basically like back you him up. You can like, question him. It's like, because he's taking a monster and I'm going to maintain that. Yeah, you might want to question the mind. Yeah, he's focused on maintaining that. So, All right. then I'll do persuade. Sounds good. Because I'm going to persuade them to give me the answers so I can make it stop. <laughs> Trust me, you want this to stop. <laughs> Look, I can make it stop. Just tell me where Blackjack, where Loudmouth Murphy are. I know I sent him here. I know I saw him on the vids. So just tell me where they went. Tell me where they hold up and what they've got planned. That's nine. That's nine. As he looks at you and then looks at his buddy and he goes, we, we don't know. We don't know. Really, we don't. Please don't. Please don't. Not me. Not next. Not me. All right. Newton, right hand only, take the nails. Oh. That control room didn't look good. What did you get? I took the right hand. Oh. <laughs> What's your total with the minus one? Six. Oh, minus one? Yeah. Five. <laughs> I've got the neural limp link with him, right? Mm -hmm. Can I roll assistance on that? It would activate on the six, but because he has that minus one ongoing, yeah, it made it a five. Otherwise, it would have activated. Well, you're really into this. <laughs> <laughs> I <Crap>. did. <laughs> See the scans. You do. Well, can I tell you what my original intention was? Yes. Was to start in on the other guy as well. Yep, it happens. Especially mm -hmm. since mentally, that door that keeps shaking. <laughs> Guess who's back? Then you see Newton. Oh, now Maestro, Maestro, as you see his arms in the air, just go. <laughs> you know, as he controls them. And then you see him just start moving as he does. You start seeing not just the, the cuticle, it's bones. The fingers are... <laughs> and he's moving them in different directions. Unnatural directions. As you hear both of them scream at the same time. I would give him some answers. I'm... <laughs> I'm going to like hold the gun at him and be like... Look, man, just tell me what you know so that he can put you down. But I'm pointing the gun at him. <laughs> <laughs> man, you're being awful convincing yes. over there. Good job. Do I need to roll persuade again, or was no. that persuading? You don't need to persuade again. As, as they, they go, we don't know where he is. We just follow Loudmouth wherever he goes. That's it. How do you get your orders? How do you, how do they give you a call? He goes, Loudmouth has a direct line to the boss. We don't. 
But you have a cell phone with his cell phone saved in it? Yes, yes. And it says, we were traveling already with Loudmouth. We were in the North Riverside, handling some business when he got the call from the boss. Give me your cell phone. Their hands are kind of. <laughs> oh, let him have his left hand. <laughs> Let, I let him have his let left hand, and I'm like, it's going to cost him a piggy. <laughs> oh, oh! Reach in your pocket <laughs> and throw me your cell phone now <laughs> while you still have a hand. He manages to pull out his burner phone and drops it on the ground in front of you. All right, I'm going to throw it back towards the elevator. And I'm going to yell back, Damon, hack into this phone. I need to know exactly how to get all their numbers out of this burner without it frying. Okay. Now, I'm going to roll. You're going to get your hands on the phone before you do that. How do I roll to... Well, my character, wouldn't he be able to, like, try to wrestle back? Oh, he's trying. He's trying? <laughs> yeah, the same way Maestro comes out, the I same way he reverts oh, back. Yeah. Can I roll to help him? <laughs> like, talking to him, basically, like, roll assistance for him to wake up. Um, Motivational speech? Uh, well, the thing is, it's not uh, for him. It's not a like it's not a condition he can shake off. Otherwise, then yes. <gasps> what oh. you doing? Man, it's nothing. It's nothing's happening to you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be clear. It's not you. It's not you. All right, hang on. I just rolled a it's 10, not so two not things. It's Stop him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Whatever's about to happen, I'm going to stop him. I'm just putting that out. Interrupt, there. okay. Interruption will be interrupt. put in. Interrupt someone. Go ahead, roll your interrupt. That goes off of my score with him? Yes. Roll plus HX with him. Nine. All right. Um, new time. Go ahead and add plus one HX with Night Owl. Okay. Yep. All right. He owes uh, me a secret. Mm -hmm. It's like he owes me a secret. Oh. 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 Spicy. <laughs> I give both away for free. All right. So yeah, you interrupt him. Um, <laughs> you sure do. Yeah. You get in the way. So as he begins to. Uh, continue his symphony. <laughs> you put yourself in between them and him. Yeah. You're in his way, in and his I'm, face. I got the neutralizer right there, just yes. like pointed right at him. Like, don't make me put you down again, rabid dog. Oh. Newton, if you're in there, I'm trying to help you. Put the thugs down. They can go through so much reformation now and either get severely addict addicted to pain medications or, you know, work at a youth center. Uh, Newton? Or Meister at this point? Act under fire. <laughs> because as he steps in front of you and points that weapon at you, you have a flashback. <laughs> Of his dad, tell him what to do. Mm -hmm. Maestro has a flashback of when he was back in that office, and he had that same gun pointed at him. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna see what. Twelve. All right. Well, you keep your cool. As he points that gun at you. Maestro, as he begins to swell up, mm -hmm. he suddenly calms down. 
<laughs> because Newton comes into play. And Newton takes him and basically shoves him back into the closet and shuts the door. Because Newton remembers the last time this happened that he was left without powers. Yeah. Very recently, earlier this evening. And he does not want to go back. Wait, you say he's still remembering that from so long ago? <laughs> That's so hour or two ago. So, Maestro is put back in the box. And now it's new time. And you see the, the levels return. What was that, intelligence? Uh, uh, yes. So I rolled to um, hack into the phone. Mm -hmm. I rolled to ten, which means I completely I'm back. locked in and Good man. took control of it. So I got everything out of it. Gotcha. And make sure it's <coughs> not on your. Mm -hmm. Did you mark the int roll? Yeah, mark the intelligence roll on there. So you guys get the report from Damon. He was able to quickly access the data from the phone. So basically, I just have like a download of like the phone numbers. Yo, GPS locations, all that. Nice. All right. The next time we all went, I don't know why we're gonna go back to the, the office <laughs> since this place is so nice, but <laughs> gonna need you to slum it with us for a little while. <coughs> we're gonna go back to the headquarters, compile this data, and come up with the best possible plan while I also hack slash underscore don't tell them need to work on something in my lab. <laughs> you get an alert from the HQ, by the way. <laughs> oh man, we're out of food! The whole the security <laughs> alarms are going off and everything. And we're out of food! <laughs> so, oh. Uh, Oh, all the peanut can, butter's gone. You can activate the no! defense system. Okay. Actually, the defense system did activate, so you're going to have to mark another want on your oh, systems. No. Oh, no. Uh, we're not going to lose security, though. So <laughs> I'll buy us. We don't something. need water until we get back. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point. We don't need water until we get back. We can always use him for the time being. <laughs> Ooh, he's got a flush. <laughs> <laughs> you can just refill the back tank. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I'll be right there. <laughs> so, meanwhile, on the, the top floor here of this uh, building with the penthouse, you still have the two hooligans who are in extreme pain. What are you doing with them? Leave them there. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> no. Outside of her place? Her? Yeah. After they just did something good for us? They did well, anything good for us. They gave us their phone. They gave us their phone, that's it. And I hacked into it and got all their information. Well, then you did something good. <laughs> that's very true. Good for you, Dave. But I wouldn't have got all that information if you hadn't given them, made them give us their phone. I did something. Okay. I made them. <clears throat> I you didn't like make it. them. The maestro. At the made very them. least, we need to take them back down to the lobby. I don't think we should leave them. Yeah. Oh, yeah paramedics a long time to get up here. That's kind of. <laughs> that's kind of rude. Besides, what if they yeah, have that would be rude to the, the security. That would be rude to the paramedics. We have to be on the side of the first responders. Yeah. That's do. what our job is. Um, we got to make it easier for them. I haven't updated my robots yet to just be like, do you want to live? <laughs> Take this injection. Uh, then, yeah. Fine. They we'll just take can't them, use their hands anymore. We'll take them downstairs. I've got... 
since I haven't been back to base yet, I've got one on my utility tools left. It might be a med pack. I can just do a painkiller. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Basically knock them out, but um, that's about it. It's not yeah. like toilet water. <laughs> got a painkiller right here. My fist. <laughs> um, while they're doing that, can I find a water fountain anywhere to try and sure fast heal? Yes. Uh, as you get back down to the bottom, yes. Okay. Huh. Snake eyes. I got, I got that. Um, how bad did I get hurt? <laughs> what does it say for that one? Um, on a seven to nine, you heal one harm, but the MC offers you a uh, worse outcome, a hard bargain, or an ugly choice. Yeah. Doesn't say. Anything. Uh, that was a four. <laughs> Ah, yes, well, in that case, you take one harm from the attempt. Yep. Uh, turns out the water in your building is very heavily chlorinated. <laughs> and it doesn't react well with my... There's lead leaking water. into the system. You're using old pipes. I think it's blood leaking into the system. Oh, <laughs> never mind, it's blood leaking. <laughs> That's so gross. You're <laughs> drinking someone's blood. You bring the hooligans back down to the bottom floor. Yeah. Setting up next to the dead body, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Give them to painkillers. Put a sticky note. They did this, but they're them. sorry. Handcuff them each to, to the dead body. I don't know if like painkillers are going to heal their trauma standing or sitting next to a dead body. That's oh, no. No. Their no. Face. <laughs> they need to be traumatized. <laughs> I look at them and I say, this... This is a natural consequence of your life of choices. Of your life choices. You need to course correct. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Don't worry about leaving your gang. We're going to dismantle it. That'll keep you safe. <laughs> of course, their minds, oh God, he's going to dismantle them. <laughs> Look you for guys. your friends. They have knee braces. <laughs> And a support group. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like literal, they have to have support to work. <laughs> we should send the messages I sent him this week. Ideas for them. Oh. Cyborgs. <laughs> I'm just picturing... To hunt Newton down. I'm Three. just picturing Newton running the support group. Three letters. So you don't have knees. OCP. <laughs> Robocops. I'm just picturing you doing the Captain America thing. So, you don't have knees. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now you're a lean tower of players. Yeah. All right. So, you do that. You call the uh, <laughs> medical team. Uh, we have a medical emergency. <laughs> yeah. And also, then, soon a coronary. Because there's also a dead emergency. Yes. And the police, because this has been a crime scene now. Yeah. So then you guys get in your vehicle, your Lincoln, and also forces a uh, Prius. Get the Prius! And my motorcycle. And your motorcycle. Yep. So you ride out in style. Oh. Um, Souped up Prius, a Lincoln, and a motorcycle. <laughs> no. In <the> gap close. <laughs> yeah. You know, 25, 30 minutes later, you guys arrive at HQ. Um, somebody should probably text Orion to let him know. But we're okay. I know a guy's number. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure one of us I will mean, figure it out. I are good buddies, but I don't have a phone anymore. I can text. Broke the phone <laughs> with me. Uh, didn't have a phone. And I like start digging around in his chest, and it's like, <laughs> did you break this? I just built this for you. That's the hilt of my sword. <laughs> As you arrive at HQ, you just got weird. You're <laughs> greeted. With bodies on the perimeter. Uh-oh. Oh, what fresh new dead body is this? It's a good thing I'm... Wait, healthy. dead body or living bodies? Oh, they're dead. Oh, jeez. They're riverside hooligans. <laughs> oh. Oh, were they killed by my drones? <laughs> it's 
good thing I'm healthy. Ah, I didn't mean to kill him. I really should set those settings a little bit lower. To oh, you lower. told them to go back to Rubber base. bullets, I swear. <laughs> you told them to go back to base. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can see how this is my fault. <laughs> To be fair, <laughs> to be fair, don't kill anybody, Newton. Do, 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 do. I'll work on convincing the robots to stop killing things, too. Uh, that's These are all learning lessons. You, uh, you also, you notice, uh, that the door, uh, the exterior door has been broken down. Walk in, kind of scan the. I'd say Newton yep. goes in first. But As you walk in to the scan the premises, first. you see the emergency lights are going. Oh, yeah. Eight. eight. So that gives me one question. One question. As you walk through the door and scan the area, is there an active threat here now? So you scan the area. And you only detect one heat signature. Which one? And it is the way the heat signature is the presented. It is um, leaning up against the, uh, the the brick, the cell, the holding cell. On the outside, he's leaning up against it. A strong arm. Maybe. I left him here. We also is that who is? The agent. So he's alive. Oh, that's yeah, a he's leaning outside. Well, that means he got out. He, Who gone. is it? Is he so, big? Nope. Is he at least halfway big? <laughs> no. Oh. As you go and investigate, uh, you pick up, you pick the one heat signature, and you go and investigate. Uh, you find that it is actually uh, Sergeant Valentine. As he's leaning up against the cell, and you can tell he's wounded, and he has a shotgun in hand. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, very rough shape. Buddy, I didn't even fully recall that we left you alive. I'm going to throw that out there. But I'm glad you are. What happened here? And you see he's kind of fading in and out of consciousness. As he looks at you and he says, Strong arm. He escaped. I'm sorry. I tried to hold him off. There were too many. You just go take a nap, man. You can take a nap. We're here now. We got this. It's okay. He and both, uh, what's her face? That had you under control? Oh, yeah. Right. Riley? They both cough like Grievous right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's Valentine as he looks at you. <laughs> they got some serious damage. And they? he goes, you know, sleep... Sleep is nice. And then he's, you see like your visor picks up on his vitals and you see his vitals basically just bottom out. Hydro! Um, flush it! <laughs> flush the death away. I've seen him heal stuff. I know he can do it. Okay. Here. <laughs> Those haven't been rolling that great for you. <laughs> Maybe you know switch that up. Alright. No snake eyes. No snake eyes. Don't tell no lies. They are not snake eyes. They are not snake eyes. <laughs> so that's a three on vitality transfer. Yes. Yeah, he's too far gone. So I think the last time I did a three or a sub seven, you gave me all of the damage that was on that person. <laughs> I wish very strongly that you would not this time. <laughs> no. Well, you try, but you're unable to uh, resuscitate him. Like Does he go into a puddle form? He's gone. Like, it, there's, he has so many holes in him right now, there's not enough water for you to cover. <laughs> yeah. Everybody stand back up there. Hey, maybe we take you to the medical facility. Did I take damage from that? I don't know. <laughs> no, you did not. Okay, good. Still, but... Yeah. Probably best. Valentine, uh, though, is lost. In the medical bay... 
Right now we are short on water. Within a 10 or 11, do you have a 10 to 11? I am currently nine. Oh, okay. Then you just need to do recovery rolls. Yes. yes. You can okay. recover on your own right now. I, I can fast heal. Yes. All right. Once we have water. Then I'm going <laughs> to... We don't have water. Or food. So how much to buy food and how much to buy water? Oh, I can put one into one. Oh, wait. Okay, I have two. I could have used an edge. Would that have put how it much? So, so I can. I think I don't know. Can we transfer barter from a person over? Yeah, but do I can transfer barter from a person over to the building barter? Can we? Uh, not to the building barter. No, but he can use his barter to uh, increase one increase of his the things? systems. Yeah. But he would lose a barter point. Correct. I don't care. This is unacceptable. Right so golden grams. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do either one. Whatever you need, because whatever needs to be done most importantly first. Uh, I mean, the rest of y'all are going to need food, but everybody needs water also. I think we should actually move the security up to green. Okay. Honestly. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry, it's fine. And then we can do. I do. I have two. I can do water and security. All right. I'll use the one barter on the building that we do have here it's to bring the water. Nice. Up. And I just thought about it, but we know somebody who can control water. And then he's can I even the use barter. my water to? To go up to yellow on food. you? Theoretically. I open up an emergency cabinet. Mm -hmm. Can she just... And grab the emergency box of golden grams <laughs> and throw it to Newton. Can she just use her elemental discharge to try and heal me? Newton. Seriously, she's doing water. Oh, it's got like red tape on the outside of it labeled so emergency cases. Elemental discharge. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit strange. It wouldn't normally heal people, but you know, I like water. Six, eight. That would be an eight. Eight? Oh, you can go ahead and roll. Okay. Actually, that's just, it would be a help action, so it would be 8 plus HX. Oh. Would sit your HX with him? Two. So oh. that would be 10. Oh, I'm sorry, it'd be well, 6. Well, it'd be 8. Sorry, yeah, it'd be 8. Sorry. Because yeah. so you six, rolled 6. six. Oh, yeah. So six, it bumps you about 1. for the energy and... No, it's mm -hmm. just 2 for the HX. Yeah. It'd just be... I thought eight. you had rolled an 8. That's why I said that. So... so. But still good. That's a ten. nine plus one is ten. Well, it pushes you. It pushes you up. So, so ten plus. Yeah. So you get ten plus out of it. Okay. Cool. So on a ten plus, mm -hmm. I heal two harm or remove a condition. Mm-hmm. So I will choose to heal two harm because I don't currently have a condition. Yeah. <laughs> So as Luna is providing you the water that you most desperately need to reform yourself. She heard me say, hey, uh, the water doesn't seem to be clear. <laughs> not fixed it here either. And then she's like, <laughs> You know the water you gave me earlier? Here's some. Oh, yes. Well, you have arrived back to HQ. You started bringing your systems back online. The emergency lights go off, you know, completely. Regular lighting resumes. Um, as you're trying to get everything back in order, including taking Valentine to the med bay to handle right. that. Well, we're yeah. just gonna incinerate the body. Yeah. Um, That's how sore agents are dealt with. Ah, okay. good. Good hunter's funeral. You can't have any of your body and modifications found by the enemy. That makes uh, sense. I'm going to run to my lab. forward, you're burning my body too. And I'm going to put my pack, which is Jojo, mm -hmm. 
on its charging perch. Yes. And then I want to roll for my uh, invention, which is a shoulder mounted sonic cannon that would match. This is if it successfully matches it. Uh, it would match the frequency that I analyze off of Hydro's sword and the tree. Basically, like a sonic emitter that would match the pitch of both of those. Okay, I got you. What you got so far? I have seven right now. Right. Seven and nine. It doesn't work exactly as I intended, or I've attracted unwanted attention. Can I pick? I can choose mm -hmm. one. You choose um, one. Unwanted attention, but it works perfectly. So you keep yeah. using that sore computer. <laughs> Magic cannon. The mag cannon. Yeah, but see, he's got a, a hacker that eventually he could use me to help him make it better. I'm sure it's fine. There you go. Famous last words. So... As you work on that in your lab, everyone else is kind of settling back in to the HQ after a very rough night. I've never been here before. This is pretty damn cool. Yes. <sighs> this doesn't help me to roll. <laughs> Dang it, I grabbed the actual one. <laughs> oh. I've got a, can I have another blank one too? Because I've got to give him a secret. Yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, thank you for tuning in to another amazing Quad City Morning Show as we have uh, concluded the other part of this story of, well, <laughs> the night that everything went wrong. <laughs> yeah, it did. What happens next? We're excited to find out as your team recovers and puts together your next plan against the hooligans. We're looking to see how this retaliation goes. I mean, we should probably at some point be cleaning up the bodies that are piled up out front and taking them to the med bay to Hunter's funeral to the as well. For uh, extra power. <laughs> well, tune in next time. For now, this is MC Sizzle signing off. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Quad City. If you did, be sure to head on over to our website at www.saturdaynightgamingllc.com and check out some of our other cool games. Also, make sure to like, share, and subscribe on all of our social media platforms. I hope you have a fantastic week, and until next time, this is Laura Hibbard with Saturday Night Gaming signing off.